Hello and welcome back to another draft battle video. Today is week 4 of APA Classic Season 16 against Kurt with a K, not a goon, goon's chip. Um, this team is pretty scary and, and my team struggles against it a little, uh, but I definitely think it, it's not it's not the worst matchup. I definitely think it is pretty winnable. Um, but Megalopony, I don't have a switch into that. <laughs> I don't. Megalop uh, is a really good matchup against me because Mega Kick, three hit kills, everything I have, at worst. Um, so yeah, that's that's not great. Um, I don't really have much for Megalop. Uh, Crobat is not that annoying. It, if it's physically defensive Crobat, it could definitely be scary, but it needs to have like no speed to be defensively strong enough to beat Kartana. So I'm not too uh, concerned about it, and it, it needs to have like Toxic for Rotom. Uh, what else do I have on this team? It needs like Defog for webs. Like it, it's not, it's okay. It, it's not amazing, um, but it definitely could come. Ladias, I don't have much for Ladias either. Like the problem with Ladias is that that my steel type is like negligible, so I don't have that much for Ladias. Um, Ladias could be an issue. Uh, Mr. Mime, Galarian Mr. Mime is not that good. Uh, I beat it with most of my wands, and I don't. I'm not afraid of it whatsoever. Um, Orcorio is not th that good. Or we no, this is pre pre drops. So I he still had Orcorio. Uh, Orcorio is it could be any of them out of four, but. I don't really, I'm not that scared about them because Rotom just beats all of them. Except like the, the, the electric one is kind of not beaten. Like, and it kind of beats uh, Pichot, but there's a lantern and that thing just is way better. Um, Gorgeist is really annoying physically, defensively, because it kind of checks Kartana. And that's like the issue with Gorgeist, it kind of checks Kartana. Um, and I expect it, I really expect it because it kind of checks Katana, but I do have Pidgeot, I do have Manaphy, that can, can break through them, I throw them. Uh, so I, I, there's, I definitely, have, definitely have options. Um, Stoutland is really scary in Sand, to be honest. In Sand, Stoutland kind of just shreds everything, and I don't really have that. I have like one check for it, and it's also like. Okay, I have two physically different Pokemon in this game. One is for Lop, one is for uh, Stoutland. And I need both of them for separate mons because both of them are really scary and I can't just make one mon do it because it can't do both. Uh, Nita Queen is annoying defensively. Like, I don't have that much to break Nita Queen. But, like, but it struggles to deal with uh, Rotom. And that's that's I, honestly the best thing about it. Rotom kind of deals with Nido Queen. Uh, Yuxi can be Nido Queen. Manaphy can be Nido Queen. Uh, Palace and can be Nido Queen. Like Nido Queen is like annoying, but it's not that incredible against me. Um, Klefki is annoying. Gets spikes, but it's completely walled by Rotom Heat. I could run turn away from my fast threats like Manaphy, Kartana, Pidgeot. But Rotom Heat always checks it, and there's literally nothing it can do. Screens defog, spikes defog, turn away, but it doesn't affect me. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, Flash Cannon, Play Rough, all resisted. Iron Head persisted. Doesn't even get, doesn't even get like special fairy moves. I don't know. Like, like, like either doesn't get Play Rough or doesn't get uh, Dazzling Gleam. I think it doesn't get Play Rough. I'm not sure. But regardless, I wall it completely. Toxic is the best it can do against me. Um. Lantern is annoying for Pidgeot, the rest of my team is not that concerned about it, but it's annoying for Pidgeot, and that's the biggest problem with it. Um, and Tyranitar is also really annoying, like defensively Tyranitar plus the Gorgas is so annoying.
three, two, one. Sorry for God. Uh, I was talking about Tyranitar. Tyranitar is really annoying for me because it kind of checks Pidgeot completely, um, and that's that's an issue. Uh, Tyranitar and Gorgas combined together is really annoying defensively, so I don't really have that much for it. It beats uh, Rodimant beats. You can see it beats Palisand kind of, but also kind of not. Cortana does it beats Pidgeot like it beats half my Azim, guaranteed. So okay. I'll try something new. Wait, oh, wait, let's me find this. Okay, I'll, I will look at my wait. wait, wait. I so I'll just, I usually don't even look at what I could have brought, but let's look at what I could have brought. I could have brought a uh, Gudra. Gudra was honestly not that bad this matchup. Like I, I was down for Gudra. Like Gudra was like a seven mono on this team. Like some bandit set because it breaks uh, Gorgeist, but it's, it struggles with Klefki, and it struggles with Crobat, kind of. And it get it gets hit too hard by too many things, it's kind of outspeeded. Latias doesn't really care about it, so like... I considered it, but bandit outrage is too risky because Klefki is annoying, and a bandit earthquake can click magnifies. And like the, the six I have work together a lot better than Gudra. Gudra just didn't fit in quite as I wanted it to. Uh, Primeape is not good against Gorgeist and Crobat. It doesn't do anything against either of them at all. Um, Skuntank, uh, Skuntank could have been brought for Latias, but Draco still kills me. So there's really no point to be honest. Like, I could have brought it, but I, I don't see yeah. Like, again, these six together work, to, work together pretty well, so I, I didn't want it to change with that too much. Slurpuff is garbage. Like, Belly Drum, there's a fake out Megalop. It just clicks fake out, it goes into Gore Guys, I can't do anything, I can't drink Punch Up, and it fakes out again, and I'm dead. If it doesn't allow me to set up for free, and there's a Clefki with Thunder Wave, and it just doesn't work. Uh, what else do I have? And like webs. Look at Crobat and Klefki. Do you think I should bring webs? No, I should not bring webs. It's awful. Uh, Articuno is just checked by Klefki. And it doesn't do enough to like Tyranitar at all. So, yeah, that's why I didn't bring those. Now let's get into what I did bring. Um, I brought a... I brought a Boots, Rotom Heat, Yeet, with Levitate, uh, obviously, Toxic Volt, which is Defog, Overheat, um, Toxic is for the Tyranitar, it's for the uh, Latias, it's for the Megalopony, it's for the Lantern, I just wanted Toxic something, because uh, Toxic is the way I'm gonna win this game, uh, Toxic and Cartana, but Toxic is the main way I'm gonna win this game, uh, Hopefully, and yeah, I need to toxic as much as I can. Uh, Volt Switch helps with the Crobat, I guess. Like I just and Crobat and momentum mainly. Uh, overheat deals with does damage to pretty much everything, um, and Defog lets me get rid of everything Klefki wants to do pretty much. Uh, that's Rotom Heat. It's uh, especially the offensive because I'm not sure what the calc is. I'm gonna start recording these in like far in advance so I know what the frick the calcs are for because I forget what the calcs are for but the speed what's the speed even for is like modest needle queen or something like that or no I think it's max attack at max I think it's max speed adamant uh, tyranitar um and as you see rest sleep talk u-turn psychic this is actually a win con because if Tyranitar is dead, and nothing can actually break this, then this thing wins. Uh, this is my Megalop check. Uh, Psychic does still pretty much nothing to it. Like, just like 50% to it. Uh, but a Power Up Punch is really scary still. And I don't really have the best things to deal with it. So, okay. Uh, Rest Talk is the way for me to stay healthy. Uh, U-Turn for and Psychic is that for like Needle Queen, Crobat. It deals with things, and that, that's pretty much the point of it. Um, 
the knife Manaphy, which is a early game mid game breaker. Hopefully, uh, Tail Glow, Ice Beam, Oko's Gorgeist, Surf uh, deals with Tyranitar, deals with Neo Queen, deals with Sauron, deals with uh, Crobat, Lopany, Ice Beam deals with Latias, Surf deals with Mime, uh, Klefki, Energy Ball is there for Lantern and just Lantern alone. Uh, Lantern otherwise would wall me, but yeah, this is the set of Manaphy. I think it can put in a work. It, it just has to claim like one or two kills, or like a, one kill and like apply a ton of pressure. That's really the point of this set. Um, I might even, maybe I shouldn't even lead this thing. For like, if Nido Queen leads and I kill it, or like I put so much pressure on instantly. Um, uh, Battle Sand, Earth Power, Toxic, Stealth Rock, Shore Rock. This is Sandville. I ran Sandville because he is a Tyranitar. If I dodge, Blame yourself because you brought the sand. I didn't bring the sand. You had to, you could have brought a nerve. That's not my problem if you bring sand. You just play yourself. But at the same time, in sand I completely wall Tyranitar because Shore Up heals two thirds in sand, um, which is actually kind of cool. This thing is a really good sand check to be honest. <laughs> leftovers for because leftovers mean that I don't get to it killed. My choice Bandit, Adamant, Crunch, Max Attack. Stoutland. <laughs> yeah, I don't get to it code ever. Uh, Scrappy Bandit Double Edge just... I don't... Does that? That might actually do a lot more damage. That might do it kill me. But then it's Scrappy and it's not Sand Rush, so it's not that fast. So then it's not really a problem. And Stealth Rock is there for uh, being Stealth Rocks. Uh, then I have... SV Hurricane, the, the Mega Pitchot. Toxic for the Lantern and the Tyranitar, Hurricane to do damage to things and be annoying. U-turn from Mentum Heatwave for the Klefki. Uh, this thing is worth getting paralyzed if Klefki goes down, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, that's what he's waves are for. For outspeed, the... What, what is his outspeed? What the hell is this speed for? What the hell is this speed for? I think this might be like... Adamant lob. Because if he's if, if he creeps like a goon, then he goes adamant lob. Because I have literally no reason to not be like way slower. And adamant lob hits to 369. Because I, I speed it just barely. Um and I only have to be like three three fifty two I think speed. So this I speed adamant lob. So yeah. That might come, uh, and then I have Kirtana, Choice Scarf, Smart Strike, Night Slash, Leaf Blade, Toxic, uh, Night Slash over Knockoff, because uh, if it's if it's Cobra Gorgeist, Night Slash always does more, and it should be Cobra Gorgeist. Uh, Night Slash, oh, wait, no, I just go for Night Slash. Leaf Blade is good for everything that's Gold Lantern, and the rest dies to Smart Strike. Um, and Toxic is for the Gorgeist, because Gorgeist kind of walls me. Uh, and yeah, that, that's the set. Um, Wing cons are Kartana, just cleaning, or Yuxi being literally unkillable, and these things are supposed to help me do that, hopefully. So, let's go into the battle. There we go. Okay. I'll, I'll pick a match back. He brought Megalop, uh, Klefki, Lantern, Nidoqueen, Latias, and Tyranitar. So, no Croat, no Gorgeist, which is huge. No, no needle. Wait, no. There is a needle queen. No Southland. Uh, and yeah, that that's it. Okay. No Orcoria. No mine. Doesn't surprise me. Um, Lop is a problem. Lati is a problem. Trinitar is a problem. Klefki is a problem. Needle queen and Lantern are like annoying, but not huge problems. Uh, and I am just going to lead my uh, like Tyranitar is like pretty obviously. I should probably have led Manfi. But I led with the Sand Castle, which kind of beats the Serenitor. So as he gets up rocks, which is pretty obvious, like if he clicked Crunch there, I and I and he landed obviously, I would have been be would have been two killed. But rocks were pretty obvious, so I just got off the Toxic, uh, and then I can wear it down. He goes for Crunch. The pet like I think Mac okay. I don't have the calc anymore, but I think Max Tech like Adam does like max 67% or something. Or like max 60%. I heal all of that back with the Shorok. Like, 
The misses literally do not matter whatsoever. He misses again. Like, I just keep clicking. So, sure, I honestly would have preferred him to hit the first one. Because then I can... Then I'm allowed to play the mind games like, do you stay in? Because I can easily click shore up and just live again. Easily. Um, and then I can like, do I click toxic again? Uh, which I might have done. Um, shore up. Here, uh, Ladias is in. I don't have much for Ladias to be honest. He goes for Ice Beam. I miss toxic and I got pretty upset at this. Like this was a mess of a game. And I got tilted for like very... I got unreasonably tilted, let's be honest. I got a kind of unlucky, but the, I guess the crunches misses were like unlucky, but they didn't actually matter. Like I played in a way that they literally did not matter at all. Um, so yeah, the toxic miss is really unfortunate. Um, I am just like, let's sack this palisand, because I don't... I, I'm like... I was... Like, what the hell do I do against Ladias? Answer, not that much, to be honest. He doubles out for some reason. I go for Toxic again, because I just wanted to get a Toxic off. And here, uh, Skull is obviously the, an obvious play. Maybe he predicted me to go into my Kartana, but he freezes me with Ice Beam, and I fall instantly and go for Shore Up. Um, Um, yeah, I'd, if he went for Skull, I was dead. I don't know why he went for Ice Beam, to be honest. Skull was so free. But okay. Goes for Skull again, which does just over 50% but he gets the burn. Which is really annoying, because now I don't 1v1 it anymore, because of the burn damage. Goes for Skull again. I, I, I probably should have clicked Earth Power uh, more, uh, because I was actually trying to sack this thing. But it... It also could actually come in handy later. Uh, you're going to Manaphy on another Scald because it's pretty obvious. You get burned, which honestly at this point I just got more and more upset because I just like I got two first turn burns and I missed Toxic on the Ladias. I don't even know if the Toxic on the Ladias eventually mattered. I have no idea. Like, I'll just find out in this re in the in the <laughs> recording if the Toxic mattered. Like it would have been like six percent damage, I think. But okay. 6% more damage. So yeah, um, going to Manaphy, get the burn on the first turn, which is annoying. I just click Energy Ball because I kind of have to, because I can just let it Voltage on my Tail Glow. Uh, here he goes into the Latias. I have no idea if Draco would kill. It doesn't actually kill. Um, go for the Ice Beam, which does a good chunk of damage. At this point, it would have been 12% lower, which is 33%, uh, which is pretty low. Uh, I'll just remember that. Uh, goes for the Draco again. Doesn't kill. I just go your free Kartana because minus four, you're not doing shit to me, and I'm scarfed. If you're also scarfed Draco, it's not doing anything. Um, I go into Kartana. Sp uh, Smart Strike is free. I go to Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat is free. Goes for the Thunder Wave. Doesn't do anything. Um, go for the Defog because Defog is pretty free. Um, I think I might just go into my Bellasand again here. Uh, I go for the Volt Switch, make, makes sense. Um, goes for the Stone Edge, uh, sure, I guess. Uh, Yuri just gets free health as he gets up Stealth Rocks. Free health, uh, get back to full, which is really nice. Um, and I just go for Shore Up again because I wall this thing. Nido Queen uh, goes for Ice Beam, does a lot of damage, that's pretty offensive, looks like. But I'm also very physically defensive. In here, I just finally sack my palace hand because uh, Needle Queen is did good damage to Needle Queen, to be honest. And now I just get a free kill with Cortana again. As he goes into Klefki, and this is uh, this is a turn. This is definitely a turn. So if I go, if he goes with a Thunder Wave and I go into my Rotom Heat, then I just click Defog and I have so much momentum. Like uh, Tyranitar is low. So Volt, wait, what did Volt Switch do last time, right? What did Volt Switch do last time? Volt Switch is 19%, right? It, like, I just click Defog, and then I, well, eh. I might not even click Defog, I might just click Hard Volt Switch and just go in, back into, like, Kartana. Because, 
you're not doing anything to me. Or I click over you. I literally, I just literally click over you. But I'm in such a good position if I go Rotom Heat because this thing is low. Cartana claims to kill literally every single time. There's not a, nothing can take a hit. At this point, nothing can take a hit. Um, so Cartana claims to kill every time if if I just get out, remove rocks, or do whatever I want to pressure the Tyranitar. Or I could stay in, predicting him to predict me to go into my Rotom Heat, going into uh, Tyranitar or Lottie to apply offensive pressure to me, because otherwise you're in a very uh, bad position uh, in the game if you just let my Rotom Heat come in for free. So uh, being not thinking straight like I am, I, I just like... Let's stay in. What's the worst that could possibly happen? It clicks Thunder away. <laughs> That's the worst that could possibly happen. I do kill the left key, but it doesn't really matter. As it goes into the Latias, I can't risk it having like mystical fire. It goes for Draco Meter, crits my Rotom Heat. I'm not sure if this mat this that crit mattered, but at this point I could not be more upset to be honest. Um, go back into Cortana, claim my kill because. Minus two is not doing anything. Goes back into the Ladios. You're like, maybe I live, but if it, like maybe he clicks, like I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I'm like convinced it's scarf, but also the the toxic didn't actually matter. Um, but it might have if I like swapped. But okay. Uh, here he goes into Megalop. I should have doubled into the Yuxi because power of punch was pretty obvious. Uh. And I could have gotten more rocky helmet damage off. Goes for the mega kick, which does a lot of damage. Go for the psychic, which I do crit. To be fair, I did crit the psychic. So now I do have a chance because of that crit. Um, he did also hit. He had two mega, uh, mega kicks. What, what's about? What's up with that? Uh, and here I okay. This is an interesting situation because uh, U turn. If I mega evolve and take U turn, I don't kill. But if I Mega Evolve, I have no guard, so Stone Edge always hits me. So if I don't Mega Evolve and bank on Stone Edge missing, I win. I, I actually win if he misses Stone Edge because I don't Mega Evolve. So I go for it, he goes for Stone Edge and he doesn't miss. And unfortunately, because I am very smart and stay in with Katana on Klefki, uh, I lose because <laughs> that was just. Was I stupid? Yes. Did I have a reason to go for it? Yes. Is the was it the best choice in any world? No, not at all. It was by far the worst possible thing I could do. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was not a good game. I did not play well. Uh, my opponent played well, besides the Palisand thing. I, my opponent played well. Um, but yeah, I didn't play well. So uh, yeah, uh, next week I am against Darkrai. Oh god, that, that was that's a matchup. That certainly is a matchup. Uh, I'll get into that next week. Uh, but yeah, see y'all then. Bye!